listening to this, you are the resistance. Hey there guys, Ironic Rebound here. So, yesterday was a pretty shitty day. I, uh, I got into an accident. I T-boned a car, uh, making a U-turn. I do have footage of it. I had my camera on uh, uh, for the event, so I will be releasing that eventually. I'm just looking at uh, sort of, you know, the legality of it and whatnot first. So this is what she looks like. Um, not massive damage considering I was only doing about 40 at the time of impact. Um, the mirrors, I don't know if they put it up, maybe this fell up when it hit the floor. The bike landed on its right. I have a, an image that I took of the, the bike. I rolled off the car and got up and uh, went to snap a shot of it on the floor, which I have placed on my Instagram. Uh, I do want to thank everybody for messaging me and whatnot. I'm okay. Um, knuckles, uh, my hands a little jacked up, my left knee's a little messed up, my chest is a little sore, and <laughs> I'm just going to show this here. <laughs> you can tell what hurts. I got myself, I believe this was impact. Uh, because I'm feeling pretty sore right now in that region. Um, so this is <laughs> good and dented. Uh, I'm pretty sure that shows up fairly well. Um, no damage to the back end of the bike. The damage starts about here. Uh, very minor scratching. It did land on its side, but it didn't slide because when it landed over on its side, it had impacted the car and was stopped. Now this piece here is probably from underneath. Um, I've had scrapes on the mirrors. Bit of a scrape here. Scrapes here. Push this in. So there must have been some impact here on the vehicle itself. So the headlamp, the front fairing. Side fairing. There's a tiny bit of scuffing. Um, this piece here snapped away. The wheel, I believe, should be uh, out here or so. So it's in about half a foot to a foot. Obviously this was damaged as well. Not sure where that piece went. Uh, the wheel itself looks okay. It didn't pop. Um, maybe damage in here. This is scraped up on the inside. So yeah, um, all in all it looks pretty good. It looks really good. Well, I had it towed here to my driveway and um, it looks okay. It's not drivable, obviously. Uh, unfortunately, I'm just going to go through removing some of the bits and pieces uh, that I can before bringing it into the garage. Um, these, oh, this is pretty far down. So this got pushed down. No, oh, that loosened right up. Wow. Um, oh, and something's like off. What is that? I don't know. Anyway, there's something missing from here too, obviously. Oh, it's there though. So yeah, I'm thinking I'll uh, at least remove the levers, remove my aftermarket power source that I've installed. Looks like it's still working. It's okay. My ram mount, um, my rear seat cover, I'll put the stock back on. And I may take uh, these corners, they were cheap, but I may take these flush mounts off and just stick the originals back on. I'm not sure yet. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give everyone an update. I want to thank everyone again for, you know, all the well wishes and whatnot. Uh, really means a lot to me. Uh, I'm okay. I'm out a motorcycle for the season, I believe. I don't see myself getting one before uh, our late November hits here, which is going to be pretty damn cold. Uh, shame. And she does still start up. So I had uh, just taken a picture on Instagram the morning of yesterday. I was at 15 something. Now I'm at 15, 130. And yeah, I think she still does start up. Yep, she does. Might be the last time I hear her. So yeah, that's it. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll update soon.